Yes, the Realme 8 and 8 Pro are now here in the Philippines and they're actually being endorsed by celebrity Catherine Bernardo with a call to hashtag capture infinity with 8 series. But we'll get you those details later. For now, let's do a quick unboxing first. We have here the classic Realme yellow box with a huge number 8 in front, Realme logos on the sides, and the usual highlighted specs at the back. Inside, we have the SIM ejector tool, a quick guide, an important information guide, a warranty card, and a jelly case. Then we have here the unit, which is in cyber silver color, but we'll open that later. And in the last layer, we have the dark charger with a USB Type-C cable. Let's go back to the unit with its super eye-catching colors. This is actually a bold move from Realme to add their tagline, Dare to Leap, in huge reflective letters at the back since I believe this wouldn't be everyone's preference. But personally, I find the futuristic design very nice since I used to own a lot of reflective phone cases. And to be honest, this kind of aesthetic is actually geared towards the younger generations. I think it would have been better though if the letters were smaller. The design wouldn't be too striking anyway once you put it in the jolly case. I would suggest that you keep this inside its jolly case though because the phone is not exactly smudge proof. So as you can see, my fingerprints are now there. It's kind of messy to look at and you have to clean it from time to time. So yep, using the jolly case will be very helpful. Plus. That way, you can keep it safe from scratches and you can keep this camera safe from damages as it's a bit protruded. This is in cyber silver but there's also a cyber black color but if you ask me, I would recommend this one. Compared with the Realme 8 Pro, the Realme 8's design is more reflective. It weighs 177 grams and it's only 7.9 millimeters thin so it's very light and easy to hold. The back panel is made out of plastic, but it isn't that obvious because of the design. You'll find the box-shaped camera module with 64-megapixel AI lens on the upper left side of the phone, the speaker grill, USB-C port, microphone, and 3.5mm headphone jack are at the bottom, a triple-slot SIM tray for two nano SIM cards and one micro SD card are on the left, and a volume rocker and power button are on the right. For its display, it has a 2400 by 1080 resolution and it comes with a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display. It also has thin bezels, a punch hole camera on the upper left side, and an in display fingerprint scanner. The refresh rate isn't too appealing though, but I'd like to think of it as a content creator smartphone rather than a heavy gaming phone anyway, so that's reasonable. I mentioned that it's a content creator's phone because the camera, build, the size, and even the battery all complement each other and they're very good for both videography and photography. While it's not the best for gaming, I do like its camera features which include an AI quad camera which includes a 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel monochrome with LED flash. In front, you'll have a 16 megapixel selfie camera with Sony IMX471. I like it because it has unique features for both photos and videos. For videos, it can take up to 4K resolution for ordinary videos. I'm taking this video outside now, so if you can hear me, you can see that I'm walking. You can also take time lapses, slow mo, dual view with good stabilization, and even movie mode for widescreen clips. For photos, there are new portrait filters, namely Dynamic Bokeh, Neon Portrait, and AI Color Portrait on top of the usual filters that come with Realme phones. I am super in love with the Dynamic Bokeh effect, it just makes portraits look livelier even at night. It takes good photos, although a bit saturated in some people's eyes, I do like my photos that way, in vivid colors. The macro camera mode is a bit of a hit and miss as it can't seem to focus on specific parts that we want. 
it's worth noting that it still works best under bright lights or daylight. The selfie camera is also decent enough for me, unlike the previous one we've reviewed, this one does not erase the edges of my glasses when in portrait mode, and it has better face detection. Having a Super AMOLED screen helps us to better appreciate the videos or photos that we take, and the battery, the 5000mAh battery, can help us take photos and videos for a longer time. Again, those are good things for people who want to capture moments to infinity and beyond. In terms of performance, the Realme 8 isn't much of an upgrade from its predecessor as it still has the same MediaTek Helio G95 Octa-Core processor. This specific unit has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage which is still expandable up to 256GB via microSD. It's still easy to play mobile games such as Mobile Legend along with chill games. Although you'd have to lower the settings for heavy games like Genshin Impact. It runs on Android 11 based Realme UI 2.0. It's a clean and easy to use interface which can be further customized. If you ask me what my favorite features are, that would still be the 6.4 inch Super AMOLED full screen which helps me enjoy the videos that I'm watching, the 64 megapixel AI quad camera for super photos and videos, and it's super slim and light build. In case you're wondering, the Realme 8 does not have 5G yet, and to be honest, I don't think we need that at the moment given the limited 5G sites here in the country. And according to Realme representatives, they are ready to give that once the market is ready. Now, for the price reveal, the Realme 8 can be yours for only 1,990 pesos during their flash sale via Lazada on May 12 at 12 midnight. So mark your calendars and try to stay up for that because it is a super solid deal compared to its original price. So that's 1,000 pesos off instantly. The price isn't actually bad for a mid-range smartphone compared with the ones that I'm familiar with which are actually at the 17,000 plus price range. This is already a solid deal. So yeah, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below if it's a go-go or a no-no. And don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash and visit manilamillennial.com for the full review.